Hi, it's Therese from Austin Paper and I'm back today with something a little bit different. I'm joining Mika's Crafts. You might have seen his YouTube videos and they're just wonderful and so much fun. So at the moment he's doing a special sort of series, 10 minute flash dash. So it's been a while since I've tried to make a card in 10 minutes, so wish me luck. So I've chosen some stamps and I'm going to be making a one layer card. I'm going to keep it very simple so that I can try and make this card within that 10 minute frame. And I've got a start my clock right now. I'm using this set from Avriel called Petals and Stems and some colours that have been inspired from Anita's card. She's the current muse this week so I thought she's used such pretty colours on her card. Um, I think I'm going to have to increase my blue colour range because I don't seem to have a lot of them but this is the Memento Danube Blue. I always like to try and stamp my larger images first. And that's why well, you can always fill in the gaps around them. Um, let's use one of the smaller flowers. And a lighter ink. This one's um, Ranger French Ultramarine. So I'm at one minute and three seconds at the moment. Oh, that doesn't look like it's covered very well. It's hard to tell. I'm not worrying about masking or anything as such. Some other flowers. I'm focusing on the lower right corner of the card because I'm actually using Lisa's sketch from Want a Sketch? One of my favourite sketch challenge. Thanks Lisa. And what else do I want? Some more darker ones, don't I? I'm at I'm at two minutes and twenty one seconds. I'll try and run this off the side of the card as well. Next I want to add some leaves and I've got this W plus nine fresh cut florals. That's it. And I need to use this really sweet sage colour, but I don't have anything anywhere like that in my stash, so I thought I'd use the new sprout, which is more of a, a light lime green colour. Very pretty, I think. And there's a smaller leaf in this set as well, I'll just grab that. I'm hoping that that seems to be the colour from the French ultramarine seems to be evening out a bit now which is nice and I'm going to use a sentiment from Alta New and this set's called Superscript. I like that friend one. I'm at 4 minutes and 14 seconds. I'll grab my 
a VersaFine Onyx Black. I like the way that this is a really nice black and it always stamps beautifully. I've got my Fiskis stamp press so it'll help me put that bit of extra pressure where I need to. big multi-liner and there's a couple of little dots there but stamp pretty well overall and just heading for some enamel dots here I think that's thunder outside And I'm at 5 minutes and 42 seconds. Actually, I do want to try and stamp the centres of those flowers. forgot about that. Now, they are also on here. That's the bigger one. And the small one. And... I'll use cantaloupe, I think. Let's let me see what I reckon that's going to look like. Mm. Yeah, this is where I'm wasting time. I should just stamp, shouldn't I? What was that one? Tangelo. I think I'll go back to plan A. Normally do yellow, I just want to try and do something that was a little bit different. center of the small one as well. I don't need to do that once because I've covered the other one up with the sentiment. Where am I at? Seven minutes and two seconds. Okay. And Now I'll just pop some of these Now who makes these? These are My Mind's Eye and they're a blue set of enamel dots Really pretty I could spend hours doing this, in fact I usually do <laughs> spend hours. That's what's good about these um, craft dashes, it makes me just a little bit less picky about where I put things sometimes. I've already lifted the paper up there. Eight minutes and 18 seconds. Bit of glitter, I'm thinking, to the center of the flowers. So I'll grab my Prisma glitter and a quickie glue pen. And this is just a nice clear Prisma glitter. 8 minutes 59, I'm getting there. And this one's called White Fizz. And I'll call that done. I'll just pause my clock. I'll finish on 9 minutes and 14 seconds. So, thanks for joining me today, and thanks, Mika, for your wonderful inspiration. And I've had a blast. Catch you soon. Bye.